when I was growing up, I was taught that the Crusades were a really bad thing. The Crusades were a bunch of Christians marching across and just murdering people, just conquering and killing all kinds of people, and that mean that Christianity was evil and blah, blah, blah. It turns out that the Crusades were a response to a Muslim invasion of Europe. Just basically Islam taking over. And that went on for a long time before the Crusades actually happened. And I read this verse today. This is Psalm 149. Let the godly ones exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. And a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance on the nations. And punishment on the peoples to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Execute on them the judgment written. This is an honor for all his godly ones. Praise the Lord. So we had the Crusades roughly a thousand, more than a thousand years ago. And that was just in Europe. So the pagans were marching through Europe and uh, the Christians. This is when they were Catholics, as far as I know responded to that with violence i mean at, at that point it had been gone on for so long what choice did they have and god wasn't saving he wasn't intervening the way you know he wasn't intervening miraculously he wasn't putting a stop to it but there was just paganism rampant and islam is a violent religion they kill unbelievers now we have an entire Western society overrun, not by Islam, but by Satanism. Not just a, a region in Europe, not just one continent, but Europe, but America, Canada, even Australia, all overrun by Satanic perverts. And they're not going to stop. They, they have already made it clear that they want to murder Christians. They've made this very clear. And besides that, we have abortion. We have the transgender people butchering children by the thousand and brainwashing children. And again, God did not save all of Israel. After Christ came, he did not save all the Israelites. He did not bring them all to repentance. And then in... 8070 the Romans destroyed many of them destroyed Jerusalem God did not save all of the Muslims when they were marching through Europe God did not even save all the Catholics when after the Reformation when they were burning Christians alive in in the Old Testament God commanded Joshua and the Israelites to wipe out all the pagan nations he didn't want to save them. He didn't want to bring them to himself. He just wanted them wiped out. And so while we pray right now for salvation, for all the pagans and the Satanists, for our family, for our children, for those that we love, even for those that we do not love. I mean, I look at history, I look at scripture, and these people, they are murderous lunatics they are satan worshipers and the only way that we deal with them now god deals with them in his way he may save some he may not but the only way that we deal with them in scripture is is this way this verse right here two-edged sword to execute vengeance punishment to bind their kings and their nobles. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I I have disturbing I have I have dark thoughts because of history, because of the way the country is, because of the way society is, and I know that God doesn't save everyone. God God sometimes wants us to do difficult things. Things that we don't really want to do. But that he commands us to do so who knows 
Who knows what's going to happen? I know that my Redeemer lives, Lord, hallelujah. What comfort this assurance gives, glory, hallelujah. Shout on day of their gaining ground, glory, hallelujah. The dead's alive and the lost is found, glory, these anti-Christian nationalist guys are one of the main arguments is they don't want cultural Christianity and to them cultural Christianity means everyone is a fake Christian or most people are fake Christians but that's not what culture is culture is a, a, a culture is defined by the norms the values the customs that people share and so Christian culture is the norms, the values, and the customs defined by God, defined by tradition also. I mean, we have a lot of tra tradition that's been passed down. Things we know are Christian that we do not have to make clear before are things like there's no gay marriage. Marriage is between a man and a woman. Children are to be protected and not abused, they cannot change their gender, no one can change their gender, there are only two genders and they are fixed at birth. These are all basic things that are, I guess, I guess they are Christian culture. We thought that they were just culture. We never knew that we had to define these things or make the opposite illegal, but I guess we do. That homosexuality or homosexual behavior should be against the law, just like divorce, just like all forms of premarital sex, just like pornography, and of course, all the other Ten Commandments. Uh, not honoring your father and mother, theft, covetousness, I don't know how you make that illegal, but this is Christian culture. We want a Christian culture that doesn't mean we want everyone to be fake Christians I mean we already have fake Christians that's that's always the case because people hear the gospel they they respond in different ways this is what Jesus said would happen not everyone is going to be saved some people are going to think they're going to be saved but they're not and so you continue to warn the church to get right to be sure of your salvation so we always have fake Christians. It doesn't mean we want this satanic culture. We, we've gone along in America as Christians saying, okay, let them, let them have their ungodly entertainment. We just won't participate. Let them have their, their gay in the media. We just won't be a part of it. We won't watch their video. We won't, we won't watch their movies. We won't sing their music. But now it's all over the place and our children are just being deceived. We're being deceived, of course. You know, the gay is everywhere. It's in the schools. It's in entertainment. It's in the government. Because we were all just happy to just let them do their thing. Let the, let the unbelievers do their thing. We just won't participate. And now it's just surrounding us. It's not only surrounding us, it is, it's in our lives, it's, it's taking our children from us, and, you know, some of us, maybe not all of us, and those of you, I'm envious, but, the, the world disintegrates in death around us, and we've been happy to do that, because we didn't. We didn't think it was a big deal. We didn't think that it was God's calling to to keep these things against the law. To, we used to say we can't legislate morality, but of course that's what morality is. It's a, it's obeying the law, obeying the law of God, the moral law. <clears throat> and so these guys, they don't like 
cultural Christianity, but what other times because I go to huh? church with my grandma and like I have people coming out of church like can huh? I get a picture with you you know mm. sure. yeah it's interesting <laughs> like you really see like different sides of people when you're kind of in work <laughs> what kind of church is <laughs> I'm allowed at church guys I'm allowed to be there it's not it doesn't like just a... burn down when you <laughs> yeah, step in. Okay. I promise so you go to church and the church male church goers come up to you and they're like yo what's up Violet I Beat also, it I go to, to, your I go to a Catholic other. church, so you know. Catholic? You go to <laughs> this shit's happening at a Catholic church. They don't like cultural Christianity, but that is a means. Just like we have all these other means. We have sacraments, we have preaching. These are all means of grace, how God leads us to Himself. Cultural Christianity is just the law. And we have this in the Old Testament. It's one of the very first things that God gives his people. So it's not a bad thing. It is a necessary thing. And the law points men to Christ. It condemns sin. A couple of these guys, they, they showed this video of this girl who said she was a Catholic and how there are all these horny men in the Catholic Church. Just, they're just perverts. And these other guys were saying, yeah, that's, this is why culture Christianity is bad. No, that's not even Christianity. That's Catholicism, which is fake Christianity. I mean, you know there's fake Christians in Protestant churches, of course. But they're everywhere. It doesn't mean we just toss out. We let the culture go to the Satanists. We let, we let ourselves be surrounded by Satanism. Is that... I mean, if you don't want God's law, what other law are you going to have? Satan's law. There's no such thing. Everything is legal under Satanism. Everything is allowed. This is what we have now. Everything is accepted. And like I said before, there is no end. There is no bottom to what Satan will push men to do in their perversions. It's going to continue to get worse until... The Christians finally have enough, and they're sick of it, and it'll be just like this, this psalm says. To execute vengeance, to, to execute punishment, to bind up the leaders, it's, it's inevitable. That's my thought, anyway. Hondo! Hondo! Hondo!